Hey there YouTube, California Prepper. Well, we're back with another episode of the Back to Budget Project. And today is going to be episode number five, numero cinco. And we are going to be talking about fire. And, um, sort of. It's not necessarily a fire starter, but it is a awesome way to carry your fire starter. Obviously, you have to, uh, Put a big lighter in there but this is the lighter bro uh, lighter multi-tool and i've been carrying this probably month month and a half maybe two months and guys i have to say i am blown away by it i really didn't think that i would be able to use it for much but i use it a lot um a, a lot of the time you know when i'm out in public uh, especially with the kids going back to school and stuff uh, i've been really trying to carry this they frown upon carrying knives on school grounds. Um, so I, at least this way I have um, some tools with me um, while I'm in uh, knife-free and weapon-free uh, zones. Now let me tell you what this includes. It is, um, first off, it's made from uh, imported Japanese 420 alloy stainless steel, which is heat treated and hardened, so it's very tough and very sharp. Um, this is a gold version, there's a silver version, there's different logos, um, but they all are uh, from the Lighter Bro. Lighter Bro is the original. I've never seen any uh, knockoffs of these, but this is the best in my opinion. If there are any more of these, uh, I, I would get a hold of Lighter Bro. They're, they're a great price. I think most of them go $9.99 uh, to $12.99 depending on uh, which model you want, but they are a great investment, guys. They really are. Uh, what they include is a 1.9 inch straight razor. I don't know if you guys can see that. But this is a very tough little blade, guys. I didn't think it was, but I actually put it to the test. And um, I got my daughter a pair of shoes on clearance. I was out shopping by myself. Guys, here's a tip. Don't buy your kids stuff unless the wife is with you or you know for sure. Uh, seen these shoes. They were on clearance. Thought they were really cute. But I didn't check the inside. I, you know, I figured all shoes were the same. No, these shoes, for some reason, they had regular uh, versions and then they had this version which was it, it had a the insole was like this it was like a uh, what do you call it I, I don't know what they call those kind of shoes like a, it was a built-in platform so she was standing on her tippy toes you know and it, it, I'm supposed to make her look taller or whatever but she's a first grader what first grader needs that so she couldn't wear the shoes and I, I couldn't take them back because they were on the clearance rack so I decided to uh, try and take the sole off and at first I tried with the knife got out a sharp blade and, and tried with it but it was too thick so I, I was thinking didn't have any razors around and I thought man maybe this would work and believe it or not guys I, I did it within five minutes I had these things sliced all the way off the only trouble I had with it was right here where there was uh, a lot of heavy glue but uh, it got right in there perfectly with the blunt tip I didn't have to worry about uh, you know over penetrating and going into the side of the uh, of um, anything it, it was just awesome I could slide it right in and I, I got both shoes perfectly now she can wear them and I don't feel like such an idiot so um, it, it was a great tool it really was it's razor sharp and I love the blunt tip um, you can use it in a pinch if you have to as a flathead screwdriver I wouldn't recommend it just like I wouldn't recommend you do it with your knife but in a pinch you know it is what it is uh, the next tool we have on here is a micro Phillips screwdriver this is size zero 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 I'm not sure if that's triple lot or triple zero or uh, what but that's the size as you can see it is very very small uh, this is for you know your your glasses your sunglasses the screws um, and stuff like that you can also use it as a punch in a pinch or um, a punch in a pinch that sounds funny or um, the website says if you know you're out on the beach or you happen to get sand or dirt stuck in your iPhone jack or uh, mp3 player um, headphone jack you can use this to clear it out and uh, who knows you might even be able to get out a sliver with it it's that small you might be able to get into uh, 
and, and to your skin. Uh, last but not least, in the front here, we have scissors. Now, most of the time, the scissors that come with multi-tools really aren't that good. Um, the only ones that I've experienced that had pretty good series, uh, series scissors uh, is the Victorinox models. But guys, these scissors are great. Uh, they are so tough. They are spring-loaded. They're smooth. They're razor, razor sharp. Um, they say on the website that they can cut through 300 plus uh, pound big game fishing uh, leader, which I'm pretty sure that's just uh, some really, really thick uh, fishing line. And as well, uh, cut down delicate stuff. I smoke, uh, roll your own uh, cigarettes, and if I had to cut a paper, trim one up, whatever, these things are awesome. My wife also, also uses them to uh, trim up her plants when she's gardening. Just a great, great tool. Uh, now, last but definitely not least, for the tools part, as you can see, um, doesn't look like there's a bottle opener, but it's in low pro mode. So you go like this, give it a little push. This one's stuck because it's been in there for a while. As you can see, that little nipple there, if you push past it, that puts uh, it into low pro mode, which you can't get to the bottle opener, but uh, if you push it up, you can reach the bottle opener and the lighter still won't slide down so you can still use it in that position if you'd like. Uh, but I myself, I, I don't drink alcohol uh, and you know, water bottles and juice don't have uh, uh, lids like that so really don't have much use for it so I keep it in low pro mode. But there is a bottle opener um, if you need one. So pop that back down just like that. And there is the lighter, bro. This is a great multi-tool, guys. I will leave you all the links down below. Um, they even come with a carabiner and a lanyard, just so nobody can steal it for you. They call it an anti-theft device, which I totally agree with. Um, the lighter, bro, itself is going to make it hard for somebody to pocket your lighter. Because, uh, well, obviously, you know, they can't just say it's theirs. Um, but... If you have it locked down on your keys or on your pocket, whatever, it's going to make it even harder to lose or for somebody to, to snag from you. So it's a really great tool. I love their lighter bro uh, lanyard. And you can also disconnect it, you know, off your neck, throw, you know, turn on the car, whatever. So it's a really great tool. I'm so happy that lighter bro donated to the channel. Uh, the surprise here for you guys is... I'm going to be giving one of these away to one of you lucky viewers. Uh, this is going to be a surprise giveaway for those of you that actually watch the videos. So, thank you so much for watching. And, um, let's see, how do I want to do this? Uh, how about just go ahead and leave a comment down below telling me why you want a lighter, bro. And uh, I'll give it a week or so, see what kind of comments we get. Uh, maybe I'll do something with Instagram as well. And, uh... We'll have us a nice little Lighter Bro giveaway. So big shout out to LighterBro.com for sponsoring the channel and this awesome little giveaway we're having. And that's going to do it. Thanks for watching, guys. And go check out LighterBro.com. California Prepper, I'm out of here.